Uh, it's always awesome coming back here and seeing uh, seeing all the faces from the past and um, always seems like we get good weather here too and favorite places I guess uh, you're looking at one of them and uh, you know it's always always fond memories here and over at the ice rink. Um, pretty successful year in the AHL named the top defenseman how did you feel about that this past year? Um, yeah, it was a it was a good year. I think it was, uh, you know, individually I was pretty happy with it. But I think as a team, um, we kind of had, had some playoff troubles the last couple of years and and didn't figure that out. So um, nice to be going back again uh, for the third year and being able uh, being able to kind of take another crack at figuring all the playoffs out. Are you sticking in Rochester this year, or what are your goals for the upcoming season? Uh, yeah, I don't think you ever lose sight of the NHL, but uh, for now it's looking like Rochester and um, just do everything I can to, to help them be successful. Thank you. All right. So, uh, your thoughts, uh, just look back at Ferris, how did the, your grand chair at Ferris help you for where you're at right now? Yeah, college is just, you know, such a, I feel like that age is such a big uh, time in your life developing as a person and then also um, trying to continue with hockey and um, for me it was just all the right people saying the right things and, and you know concerned about you as an athlete but first first and foremost as a person and um, to come and get your education and to work with coaches like that who are mentoring you and um, it was it was all really good really good stuff any future ultimate goals you're still chasing Oh, now I'm kind of looking at uh, being the best father I can be mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, playing as long as I can and hopefully staying healthy and uh, I guess just turning this career into a, a job and trying to get the most out of my legs. Okay.